What's up dudes? We're back with another top five. It's gonna be top five things that I hate about this truck. Number five. I love the way this truck looks, but it's black. My RX-7's black. Good friend of mine, Keith, he's got a Camaro that's black, and he warned me right off the get-go when I first got the RX-7. He says, yeah, it's a beautiful color. Like, you can't, I mean, it's beautiful. It's nice, very nice. But maintaining it, like, you wash this thing, and within five minutes, there's dust on it. You can see everything. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys that had black cars, I mean, you get swirl marks in it and stuff. It's super hard to keep it clean. Looks amazing when it is clean, but very hard to keep clean. So that's number five thing that I don't like about this truck. Number four, we're gonna look in the interior again. Number four thing that I like the least about this thing, well, let's hop inside, you know, is this radio. Like, I know it's hard for you guys to see it, but that's the stock Chevy radio. It sounds all right, it plays CDs, but no MP3, there's no USB port. It's got a headphone jack for like an auxiliary kind of deal, but I mean, then you gotta lug around an iPod or something or a phone or whatever, and it's plugged in and it's in the way and it's not practical and it's annoying and there's a wire and you, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Number three, let's go with the fact that there is not really an option for an aftermarket hood. This thing is like, it looks good the way it is, but how sweet would it be to have a nice big cow induction hood on this thing, you know? Kind of like the uh, my old Colorado was. If I can dig up a decent picture, I'll post it up here. I'll show you guys. Yeah, sorry. The lack of aftermarket support. Something that doesn't really uh, that I don't like. So it's a cool truck, but it could be cooler. Number two thing I don't like about this truck. It's something that I liked from the other video. The fact that it's a 4.3 V6. It's not the biggest motor in the world. It's not the most powerful thing in the world. It pulls the truck fine. And for the kind of cars that I haul around, being RX-7s, 240s, really light Japanese tuner cars, it's good. But when you're going up a hill or you're trying to speed up to pass somebody, it's not quite there. I mean, you can step on the gas, it does the whole kick down thing. And it's uh, it just makes a lot of noise. <laughs> so it doesn't really pick up or go any faster. It just sounds like it's going real fast and it's really, you know, it ain't much, so that's easily the number two thing I like the least about this truck. It's pretty gutless. Does the job, but could definitely do it better, faster, and stronger. The number one thing that I like the least about this truck right here is the ride. It looks good. It's all slammed on the ground, right? It looks nice, sitting low with those 20 inch wheels, but it's a little too low, unfortunately. As it sits right now, there's no airbag in it, there's no nothing, it's just on the leafs, and what we did was flop the axle over to get it to drop that far. So the problem with that is now, every time you hit a good bump, you bottom up. That's not cool, that's not comfy, and it's definitely not comforting. Wait, that's the same. We're gonna have to do something about that ride, but that definitely sucks. It actually, believe it or not, if you balance the car trailer properly, like if you put the car on the right spot on the trailer to make the weight like close to 50-50 on the trailer, you always gotta keep a bit of weight on the tongue to prevent that crazy sway on the highway. But it'll actually ride better when you're hauling a trailer, when you're pulling some weight. Because without it, it just, you know, just bottoms out and stuff. And so anyways, we're gonna try to do something about that this winter. Needless to say, this truck's got a little bit of cleaning up to do. But I really do like the truck and yeah, maybe we'll keep it, who knows. See what Pops wants to do, it's his truck. So that was top five things that I don't like about this truck. This is kind of a filler video. You guys know I filmed it uh, a long time before you're watching it, but I'm busy in the winter so I don't know if I can always get stuff out to you. So this is an attempt to make sure that I can keep bringing content to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. Peace out. Stay happy. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon.